Welcome back everyone to the hello well guys this is another episode of the advanced SFML game series and in this video we are going to start implementing the movement functionalities for our Mario character so let's get started with that real quick I'm going to open up my Mario.cpp real quick and in here uh, I have set my movement speed to 70 and uh, the, you should remember this code from the previous videos and uh, now what we can do is we can just go ahead and say if our keyboard colon colon is key pressed and uh, we can check if the right key is pressed for example and then what we are going to do is we are going to apply a force to the body now we can choose a position where we want to apply the force or we can use the shortcut method apply force to center which will automatically apply the force to the center of the object which is what we want so for the actual force we are going to create a b2 vec2 and uh, for the x we are going to say move and for the y we are going to pass it our zero just because we don't want any y movement uh, but what we are going to do though is that uh, uh, we want to uh, make sure we pass true here f because the other parameter is about uh, whether it should also wake up the body because sometimes when a body is not responding it will put it into sleep mode to save performance and this makes sure when we are applying the force it also wakes up the body because we want the main player to be always waked up so what we are going to do is uh, do similar for the left but we are going to say minus move here and uh, that should actually may Mari uh, make Mario move left and right of course there are a lot of things that we can change here but uh, let's just uh, check it out for once so see how well it goes or if it does not go that well so let's just see and uh, you can see that uh, here we I do get it and if I move left you can see Mario did move left uh, right and I can move left and right and that works but uh, just to test things I'm also going to uh, give Mario a bit of a flying ability um, I mean that uh, so we can just go ahead and copy and paste this but this time we will test for up and this time we won't actually say uh, zero here but we will just pass zero here and we will say negative move of course since uh, our up axis is the negative and our uh, what we are using here so let's go ahead and try that out and uh, hopefully what should happen is that uh, Mario is able to fly as well but uh, when Mario does begin to fly you will notice a very obvious problem so you can see yes we can make Mario fly and move at the same time but if you do something like this you can see Mario just falls around awkwardly like that yeah we can just make him rotate like he's some kind of physics balls or something now this is really fun to experiment with of course but uh, this is not exactly what we need or want uh, for an actual character we want the character to always stay upright regardless of uh, whatever so you can see yeah that's <laughs> that's not exactly the effect that we are going for just making Mario go li like that and uh, this is more like uh, accelerating Mario like indefinitely and then making him fly around so this is uh, interesting to uh, test and uh, kind of have fun with but uh, what we want to do of course is want to create an actual character controller that is not uh, rotated so we want to make sure that the physics engine locks Mario's rotation and does not rotate Mario currently you can see Mario is being rotated uh, like uh, that so yeah Mario is actually being rotated like that and uh, that but we want it not to not uh, we want him not to be rotated so how are we going to do that uh, making sure that the player does not rotate while moving is remarkably simple you can just when we are creating the body def we will just say body def dot fixed rotation is equal to true and that should automatically fix the character's rotation now while that, uh, this actually does fix the rotation there are of course a couple of problems that this does not ex uh, set, uh, you know address currently as you can see we are using forces now there is a problem with using forces by the way if I fly right now you can see that Mario always stays upright now that's all right but let's say we are not using forces at all right now we are just moving so you can see Mario feels a bit slippery it's like moving uh, just slipping around so you can see that uh, uh, we can just like move and basically what it's doing is it's applying acceleration and then it's uh, basically moving along like uh, slippery stuff so it it does not feel great because uh, it is slippery so what we need to do and what we want to do is make it so that Mario is a lot less slippery and uh, his movement feels snappy so when the player actually lifts the button Mario stops moving instead of just uh, moving forever so that's uh, a problem that we need to fix right now so how are we gonna do that in order to fix that we can actually set the velocity directly so I'm going to create a b2 vec2 you can see here called velocity and we set it to whatever the linear velocity of the body currently is and then we set that velocity's x value the horizontal component of the velocity to be zero uh, and uh, if we are moving right then we add the move value to it and if we are moving left then we subtract the move value from it and uh, then we set the body's linear velocity to this velocity variable that we have got this ensures that the body is uh, 
vertical velocity affected by gravity and stuff it stays the same always while the linear velocity changes now I have changed the movement speed to 10 or maybe we can make it 7 because 10 even seems too much sometimes so uh, because uh, we are not using the last time like when we were using forces we had 70 because uh, a force is obviously in different units uh, and uh, now we are setting the velocity it needs to be a lot smaller value because uh, now this is actually independent of the mass and uh, uh, acceleration and all stuff like that we are just setting it directly to whatever we want now this does mm, provide snappy movement and this could be improved a lot and creating a great character controller is something that's uh, quite a project on its own but you can see that now when I move Mario he actually moves and uh, kind of works I guess so that's awesome and uh, yeah that's pretty much all we need so that works quite well by the way I have gone ahead and added that apply force to center with the movement up uh, back so that we can kind of fly around the scene still so of course now the movement is a lot more snappy and uh, in, the, in the next video we will actually implement the proper jumping uh, you know function here if you were to actually run this application you might uh, notice a problem in how it works and uh, uh, let me just show you by getting it uh, up real quick so if I move to some higher area of the ground like uh, where there is more ground like for example here you can see that if I am moving uh, it's working but sometimes I suddenly stopped now you can see Mario stopped even though I am pressing my key it acts as though Mario hits a wall so this happens randomly and uh, this uh, is actually an issue with box 2d and with most 2d physics libraries when you've got a lot of rectangles or square based tile components together then it can often happen that uh, uh, you know when your character is like moving you suddenly uh, get it stops so the reason for that is that uh, uh, you know you have got bunch of uh, collision detections uh, here and they are all of the boxes are kind of aligned together and uh, there is nothing really we can do to fix it because uh, this is an issue with box 2d and uh, unless uh, you want to write your own physics library and it will still be very hard to get rid of this issue uh, so it's not really possible to do that but a much easier way to actually fix this is uh, to not use a rectangle for Mario so this stopping is occurring but if we were to change Mario to something like say a capsule or something like that then uh, it would completely fix the problem since uh, that would be a smoother shape so basically rectangles with tile maps won't work but we can use a capsule for that so let's go ahead and uh, kind of make our code use a smoother shape that quite easily by using a capsule but box 2d does not support capsules out of the box so what we need to do is we need to basically make a capsule out out of two circles and one square so you need to make sure you include circle shape dot h in here uh, for the actual you know we want to use circles and when we are doing this we create the polygon shape of course and we set it as the box and we set it density and friction and uh, I uh, call this one polygon shape actually not just shape and then we set the, of course the shape to that and create a fixture like that but then what we do is we create a circle shape and call it circle shape and set its radius to 0.5 you will also notice that uh, which is equal by the way to the width of the object and one thing you will also notice is that uh, I set this to be 0.5 the reason is that uh, uh, half of the other 0.5 of the uh, you know actual box will be occupied by the circle and uh, the other circle so two circles will occupy that and then we go m underscore p which is basically the position of circle shape uh, in box 2d and we set that to 0 on the x but 0 0.5 on the y and uh, uh, we basically just change the fixtures shape and we create it using the same fixture since we don't need to change anything else and we don't need to create another fixture and when we are doing the other circle that's supposed to be this one is going to be positioned down and the one that's going to be positioned up we are only going to be ch changing its position and set that and we don't really need to change uh, this or uh, uh, um, act, we don't actually need to you know go ahead and uh, change the uh, fixture dev dot shape because it automatically uh, creates that shape it keeps a pointer to the shape so we, if we change it it will automatically be updated so we create another fixture like that and uh, that should create a body with three fixtures which means it will have uh, a single body but three collision shapes which will represent a capsule so if I were to go under physics dot cpp uh, there is actually an error in the way we were drawing the stuff so when we are drawing sir, uh, by the way uh, one thing you might notice is that I am casting this to sm colon colon unit 8 uh, if you do that explicitly it will avoid any warnings by Visual Studio uh, we were dividing when we are setting the origin we were uh, dividing the radius by 2 we actually that is wrong because uh, 
and this uh, uh, radius is uh, actually the half of the circle so we need to not divide it by 2 we would need to divide the diameter by 2 but since this is a radius we just can just put it directly and uh, this is going to happen in all draw circle and draw solid circle and wherever we are drawing any solid shape I have made uh, the alpha be multiplied by 120 because the solid shapes uh, we want to be able to see the Mario through them so we are going to set to 120 or maybe you can even make it 180 for example uh, it's up to you and uh, I'm going to leave it at 120 and uh, when we are uh, drawing points of course we also make sure that we are doing size and not size by 2 and when we are actually drawing I'm going to set the flags to be E underscore shape bit so we can kind of see the shapes better so let's just run this and uh, see kind of what happens and uh, what you should see is that uh, Mario now works a lot better so if I actually run this uh, hopefully it will work so yeah Yes, you can see that we do get it drawn and the shapes are drawn kind of, they don't completely like uh, take all of that and we can still fly Mario, uh, kind of nice I guess. But this time what you should see is that that problem that we had with Mario kind of just stopping randomly does not occur. The reason it does not occur is because now Mario is not a scare that would kind of have its edge be uh, fixed somewhere. This happens uh, due to floating point issues and stuff, it's a bit hard to fix. So, but if we make it uh, a capsule, then that's nice and smooth and it does not cause any problems. And uh, the actual movement left and right works quite nicely and uh, as far as I can see. But uh, of course there can be a bunch of improvements, we might make a bunch of improvements later. And uh, we are going to in the next video implement jumping and uh, other stuff because currently we can just fly Mario around, not really realistic. We'll implement jumping and so stay tuned for that, I'll see you in the next one, make sure to like and subscribe as well. And share this video with other people as well and bye.